NHLS Studios in Tel Aviv. This is Homeland Security Weekly Reports with Kate Lehman. In this week's Weekly Report, 9-11 was a catalyst for many Homeland Security technologies. Shabtai Shoval, founder of SDS, following the terror attack, asked himself whether the event couldn't have been foreseen and even maybe prevented. His solution was a system that will inspect visitors automatically and quickly, detecting any intent to commit a crime before it happens. It combines traditional security questions with lie detection capabilities. Fibrotex Technologies, a designer, developer and manufacturer of advanced static and mobile camouflage and deception systems worldwide, was recently awarded a long-term contract to manufacture and supply thousands of advanced multispectral camouflage systems to the Finnish Defence Forces. The greatest nightmare imaginable to airport security personnel chemical terror attacks in crowded terminals. Such a scenario was described by Brigadier General Abraham Bashar. According to Bashar, current security procedures for terminal attacks will only lead to further panic and more deaths, as the first to fall would be the security officers. They're trained to get into close range of their targets as quickly as possible, which is in fact the wrong tactic in case of a chemical attack. Sensefly has unveiled its patent pending technology for oblique images that enables its fixed wing mapping UAVs to take extraordinary images without the use of a gimbal. According to UAS Vision, this technology is based on a control algorithm that takes oblique images of photo targets without the need of a camera gimbal, enabling Sensefly's ultralight mapping UAV to take aerial shots with up to 45 degree inclination from the photo's target. The US Border Patrol unveiled one of its weapons in the war on drugs. Three wireless camera equipped robots that let border agents remotely navigate the tunnels and storm drainage systems that smugglers use to sneak drugs, guns and people across borders. Shacha Belkin, CTO of FST21, now joins us. Thanks, Shaha, for being with us today. Thank you, Kate. What actually is convenient security? That's the big change. Security is becoming or making our life non-convenient. And security is needed more and more around the world. And the more we need security, the more our life becomes inconvenient. You can see what's happening in airports. You can see what's happening in entry to office buildings. What FST is bringing is convenient security, a convenient way to let the right people in and leave the right, the wrong people out. Shacha Belkin, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Kate. That's it for this weekly report. Remember to come and visit us at our website, where you can find more news on security, defense, and intelligence. And stay connected to us through all the social networks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.